let me tell you something different. Atomic mass. Atomic mass from the very first day I'm telling you complete. What is atomic mass? And atomic number also. Atomic number is the number of protons. Atomic mass is the sum of protons and neutrons. Secondly, I told you, if you see a symbol, two numbers written like, like sodium 11, 23, then the smaller number represents what? The atomic number. The bigger number represents what? The mass number. Okay? And this, this mass number is the sum of protons and neutrons. Now, as I told you that the atoms are very, very small, so small that it is not practically possible for anyone to find out the mass of single atom. All right? We want to find out the mass of a single atom. What is the way here? We use scales, weighing scales, like we use balance. So it's not practically possible to put a single atom in one of the pan and putting the weights to measure it in the other one. It's not possible. Moreover, the weights would be so uh, of high value as compared to that little tiny single, single electron. Practically, it's not possible. So that is why scientists have chosen to compare the, uh, to tell the masses a different way. They use what? They use carbon atom, carbon 12. Carbon 12 means its atomic mass is 12. They use carbon 12 to compare the masses of other elements. What does it mean, comparison? What does it mean? Let me tell you. If we have a balance, this is one of the pan, and this is another pan. Here we put something like uh, uh, we want to make, we want to know the weight of oxygen. So we put an oxygen over here. Now, practically, we can't put our normal weights in this pan, in this weighing machine. So scientists chose what? Carbon 12 an atom to find out its weight, okay? So all the weights are the atomic, uh, are the comparative masses. This is, this is confusing, okay? I'm trying to uh, explain it. So what is the first point? point? Practically, it is not possible to find out the mass of a single atom. Secondly, scientists chosen carbon 12 to tell the comparative masses. All right, let me give you an example. Suppose we all are scientists and we agree that all the weights would be considered or would be uh, measured by using this duster so this would be our standard so in one of the pan we put this duster and in the second one we put the, that thing whose weight we are going to find out okay so we will tell for example i'm putting here my cell phone so i tell you that i i i say that five dusters is equal the five dusters are balancing single cell phone so what would be the mass of my cell phone for this system five cell phones okay same duster now i'm putting what this marker i'll say this marker is the half of the mass of this duster okay i'm putting here a uh, duster and in the other one let me put a cup of tea I'll say the cup of tea is twice of this duster. So this is called comparative 
there is another set of scientists that those group of scientists they choose uh, rather 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 what uh, instead of duster they choose what this marker for comparative studies so they will tell you the masses by com in comparison with this okay so if i put myself in the pan then would, what would be the mass might be might be 2000 markers what is the weight of this one chair with this marker might be 150 markers what is the chain uh, what is the mass of this uh, the, uh, these glasses as compared to this marker might be half might be 0.7 of this this is called comparative masses so in the same way scientists they decided to uh, find the the masses of all the other elements with respect to carbon 12 okay now one thing is clear carbon 12 has been chosen to find out the comparative masses of all the other elements next suppose this is i'm supposing this is carbon 12 he, they divided this carbon trial into 12 pieces becoming difficult remember you are not going to uh, write or memorize all of these discussions no it's there in the book but usually only the definition is asked okay so just to tell the definition i'm trying to uh, give you some examples trying to explain it otherwise the definition you can uh, rectificate it so Try to understand it. So carbon 12 is chosen. This is carbon 12. They divided the mass of carbon into 12 parts. This is one part. This is one part. This one part is called 1 AMU. This one part is called 1 AMU. AMU stands for atomic mass unit so refreshing how are they using carbon trial instead of using the whole carbon trial they are using this 12 part they are comparing at the mass of every atom the mass of every atom not with the whole carbon but with only its 12th mass 12 means 1 upon 12 whatever mass is at okay so what if we summarize unable to find out the mass of a single atom by using ordinary uh, common weighing scales first point second point they use carbon trial how by uh, using a, the mass of carbon the one twelfth mass of carbon and what do you call this one twelfth mass of carbon one amu in the whole world this way one amu is not in our book this one AMU is now is called Dalton. So instead of writing AMU, they write Dalton, but it's not in our book. Okay, so don't write, you don't write AMU. Recall that example, the star example. The mass of chair is 500, um, okay, 500 dusters, means 500 dusters. The, 500 times of dusters uh, is the mass of one chair. So similarly, if I write the mass of oxygen, I write here the mass of oxygen, 16 AMU. It, it means an atom of oxygen has 16 times more mass than one AMU. The mass of uh, sodium, let's suppose exactly 23 AMU. What does it mean? The mass of one sodium is 23 times the single AMU. What is single AMU? One twelfth mass of carbon atom. So try to understand it. If not, let me uh, tell you in the group, or you can email it. I will. I can explain it to you afterwards. Also. Okay. 